Alright guys, AshBFC here and welcome to Devil May Cry. And I'm surprised it's took me this goddamn long to finally get around to doing some Devil May Cry considering just how much I love this series. And I really do. In fact, the first game right here was pretty much my introduction to, you know, this genre, this action uh, hack and slash. And I've loved them ever since, you know, God of War, Bayonetta, uh, stuff like that. Absolutely love them. In 2001, this game came out. Originally on the PS2, so long ago I was I was only 12 years old. That's madness. That's absolutely madness. But anyway, without further ado, let's get this bad boy underway. Let's do some Devil May Cry. Here we go. Let's rock, baby. Oh yeah, so this is part of the uh, this is the HD um, collection. So the actual game itself is running. I've got that running in 4K, but uh, like you can see the menus and some of the FMVs still run at a, a shitty uh, resolution aspect ratio. Nothing I can do about that. But uh, let's get going. All right, we've seen this game. Okay, new new game. Two millenniums ago, there was a war between the human world and the other, the underworld. But somebody from the underworld woke up to justice and stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend, the legendary Dark Knight Devil may cry. I'm sorry, we closed at nine. Again, no password. I can't seem to get any real business. Whoa, slow down, babe. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. So. You must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Well, the way I figure it, in this business a lot of you are kind of and if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> Are you really the son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta? Didn't your daddy teach you how to use Sword. Sword. <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my vengeance. It looks like I'm getting closer. It seems that way, but I'm not your enemy. My name is Trish. I came here to seek your help. To put an end to the underworld. What?
20 years ago, Mundus, the Emperor of the Underworld, resurrected. Mundus? Yes. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on Malay Island. The castle is above this cliff. Come on, let's go! Alright, and we're off. And man, it has been far too long since I last played this game. It has been a while. But uh, I have beat it many times, so... I know the game pretty well regardless. It does feel a bit weird though. It, 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 have we not played it for a while? It does feel uh, quite stiff. I did have a little, you know, practice run before this, just getting used to the controls and what have you. And because I got used to more modern games, you know, like more like um, you know Bayonetta and what have you. This does feel a little stiff, but you'll get used to it. And uh, a little interesting fact, just in case you didn't know, I'm going to educate you. Uh, this was originally meant to be a, a Resident Evil game. Yeah, it's true. We've got a yellow orb there. A sacred stone that brings back life after death. Well, it does what it says on the tin. But yeah, um, ended up not being. Uh, I think that other game ended up becoming Resident Evil 4 or whatever. This became its own thing. Alright, here we go. Mission 1, Curse of the Bloody Puppets. Break the evil spell and open the cursed door. You can definitely tell these bits are Resident Evil in this. I mean, the fixed camera angles. You know, finding keys and things like that and... Oh, right, yeah, we've got to the store right here. And the way the sort of text comes up. I think it's actually, is it the exact same text that was used in the old Resident Evils? And that sort of typewriter uh, animation it has. And it says, we need 45 uh, red orbs to open it. We need to take some damage off that hand there. Normally you'd want to move out of the way. But luckily there is uh, 45 orbs in this room. So let's get them. There we go, red orb. A red stone used to unlock new skills and doors. To acquire new skills, you must offer the stones to the god of time. This blue door over here. It says this door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. Well, oh, keep an eye out for a rusty key. Love the music in this game. Quite a haunting melody in the background there. And this very first room here does remind me a little bit of the, the mansion from Resident Evil. Alright, let's hunt down these orbs. Let have a look at this thing right here. It says, this statue must be the Watcher of Time. This god knows and remembers all of the past. The words of this god are engraved. Those who desire to acquire the ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. It's not responding. I better unseal the uh, door beneath here first. But yeah, it's not working right now, but those are where you'd go to uh, do your upgradeage and stuff with your orbs. Got nothing over there. Let's go up top. So Robert's right there, another sneaky one around the corner here. Just thirty five. drop down here, uh, some more, there we go, we got 45, now, 
If we go over here, you can see the uh, the floor is broken right here, but what we can actually do, do a wall jump. So you jump against the wall and then press jump again to kick off it. Doing a good job here, I'm trying to, there we go. Jump up to here, boom, we found a secret uh, blue orb. She says, also known as the fragment of life, but it's only one fourth of the whole piece. When it becomes whole, it will have the power to increase the vitality's maximum limit. So yeah, you get four of those, it'll increase your uh, health. I'm pretty sure I know where they all are as well, so I'll go ahead and get them. Now, actually, there's a secret stash of orbs here, but this is hard to pull off. I'm not very good at it. Right, you can jump on this statue right here. Right. You need to land on the spike, on the tip of the, the spear right there. So you need to be facing it. I'm pulling the wrong position right now. You get it positioned perfect. Then you want to jump. Do you want to hit the analog? You want to jump. Then at the highest point of the jump, jump again. Oh, and I did it first time. I've seriously never done that before. I'm so proud of myself right now, even though that was complete luck. But if you could get that perfect like I just did, you'll get a little uh, secret cache of orbs right there. So... Wow, first time. <laughs> Seriously, I thought that was going to be something that would take me so long and I'd have to, like, just make a jump cut to when I finally get it. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Anyway, right. With uh, all the orbage in hand. Let's go find that bastard door. There it is. Let's get this bad boy open. In the hand shatters. So you've got some uh, knight statues here. Yep, smash them. Get another uh, blue fragment. Some red ones as well. A heavy iron lattice gate is lowered. It appears that this iron lattice gate will have to be raised in order to get out of this old castle. That's great. Well, we ain't going to be leaving anytime soon. This way. Yeah, you can break a few stuff, get some orbs. Just swing away like a madman, see what you can break. Every orb counts. Alright, going up. What the hell are these? It's a puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyway, before we go anywhere else, let's uh, nip through here nothing we can do in this room at the moment. We have a look over here. It says there are three openings to insert something. If we jump over into this uh, pool of water right here. Boom! Another blue orb. Don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Alright, let's head back. See there, there's a, there's all in ceiling. I'll just smash those because, well, it's fun smashing stuff with a sword. What the hell is this? Aha! A rusty key for that blue door in the uh, main hall. It's a creepy looking thing, isn't it? Oh shit! Well here we go, first taste of action! So like many games in this genre, Put together combos, get a rating. See, so mostly they say dull. You can get cool. Um, bravo. Uh, what's the other one? Is it astonishing or outstanding? And this stylish. Is stylish the best one, I think? And after each mission, you'll be rated. You know, on how well you've done. And don't expect me to get high ranks, because I'm not good at pulling off combos. I'm really not. Expect like a B at the best from me. You can actually have a look at, um, you can 
to see uh, the weapons you got is the guns. Ebony and ivory. And the force edge. So what do we got? It's not popped up yet, but usually you can see... Oh, there, no. We are under fire. You can see the enemies. Anyway, we got the rusty key, so uh, let's do a runner back downstairs. Use the rusty key. You no longer need this key. Will you discard it? Oh wait. Resident Evil. Oh, see some puppets just uh, hanging about there. Anyway, actually uh, jump up here. See this plane? Jump on the wing there. There we go. That's four uh, blue orbs. So that'll be uh, a health increase there. And there's another uh, secret uh, cache of uh, orbs. We'll just uh, drop off here onto the nose of the plane. Botched it there, but... There we go. Get in the right position, you'll just step off. Get some orbs. Alright, now we go over to this corner. Look at this thing, it says, This emblem responds to my powers. Just slash away at it like a madman. down to this area and hello enemies uh oh tried to turn me into a puppet then there we go absolute that's what I was thinking of back to dull sounds about right But uh, you see, there's a green orb there that uh, that'll give you give you some health. Yeah, you can uh, juggle the enemies right there. That's always fun. Roll as well, left and right, get out of the way. Basically, you dodge. Oh, Christ, got me with a shotgun there. Watch out for those guys. Lose a lot of, does a lot of damage. Yeah, you'll get more orbs if you uh, finish them off with your sword rather than your uh, guns. Something to bear in mind. Anyway, our work down here is done. Let's head on back up. Oh! More enemies to slaughter. Not a problem. Proceed through this door and finish the mission. See, I think you ranked off um, your time 
You see the orbs you got there, and uh, basically, I think like the combos and stuff you put together, and I got a C there to be expected. As I said, I, I won't be getting any high ranks. I, I never can. Actually, say that I'm not too bad at doing them in Bayonetta, but I think Bayonetta's a bit more generous with its rankings, so you know. But expect like C's across the board. It's the best I could probably do. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this uh, first part right here, guys. And god damn it, oh, it feels good to be playing some Devil May Cry again. It really does. It's about time I uh, got some Devil May Cry on the channel. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.